Okay, food and fuel prices are close to record highs, spurring inflation and possibly contributing even to global warming. All that is known. The question is, what does the world need? Well, it may need high-quality fertilizer and clean energy sources, at least according to the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. And no wonder that region's quarter of a million square miles holds a third of the world's potash reserves and produces a quarter of the world's uranium. Saskatchewan's Minister of Labor and Immigration, Rob Norris, is on a trade and investment visit to Asia, and he joins me now in the studio. Very good day. Good Thank morning, you very Paul. much for joining us. Delighted. Since you're the Minister for Labor and Immigration, I guess you're after people. That's exactly, that's exactly right. One of the things that we're seeing in Saskatchewan is that with the obvious growth that's underway, and the growth is quite phenomenal, and what we're seeing is that we need a lot more people in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan has a population of about just over a million people. That being said, we're leading the country as far as population growth. We're leading Canada. But as we look to the future, we understand that we're going to need people from uh, right around the world, across Canada. And we're also focusing to ensure that our First Nation and Métis people, our mm -hmm. Indigenous peoples, are also contributing to and benefiting from the economic growth in Saskatchewan. Okay, uh, a lot of people would like to live in Canada. They don't normally choose Saskatchewan because it's pretty cold there, at least in winter. But uh, it can be hard to, to get the right permits. Are you easing up on uh, labour rules? So that you can get these people in? Certainly we're finding new efficiencies. Between January and March of this year what we've done is increase productivity within our immigration branch provincially by 48 percent. We've come out with some new targets, 85 percent increase, almost a doubling as far as the provincial nominee program. So what we're trying to do is find that balance between the integrity of the system and also ensuring that more people are able to come to Saskatchewan. The mm -hmm. news today is we were just in the Philippines, we're going to be in Ukraine next week and that is we're going to be serious about making sure that Saskatchewan is getting more than its fair share of newcomers that are arriving in Canada. Okay, so for our uh, viewers out there who have got experience in these industries in uranium and uh, potash, what are you looking for? Miners, geophysicists, are you looking for highly educated people or people who operate the machines or what? You know, what we have is, uh, I just referred to a, a website that we're keeping track. It's right across the sectors. There are more than 9,100 9, jobs available in Saskatchewan today. What we really see is, that's exactly right, we see the need for, for any number of, of skilled and professionals to, to come to Saskatchewan, and uh, that's going to help foster and fuel our growth. Our purpose is to make sure that we're sustaining this growth and to make sure that we're sharing the benefits with the people of Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. While you're out here as well, this may not be purely a remit, but I'm sure you've discussed it, is customers. Uh, are you going to be supplying any of these goods uh, to Asian countries, particularly the fertilizer and the uranium as, uh, as, as agriculture expands? and nuclear power plants being built particularly in China. That's exactly right. What we're focusing on, obviously uh, potash has a very prominent uh, presence already throughout Asia. Uh, as well, the uranium from Saskatchewan already goes to the United States, it goes to Germany, it goes to Sweden, it also goes to Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously there are opportunities to expand uh, those, those uh, exports. So, can you sell uranium to China under current international rules? Uh, you know, what we're focusing on right now is, uh, is just to ensure that uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the amount of uranium that's coming out, actually we're, we've been focusing so far on, on simply exports, Saskatchewan is now shifting and turning and saying we need to do more in areas of research and development, we need to do more as far as making sure that we're uh, going to be game ready when it comes to uh, greater levels of refinement, mm -hmm. and we're also looking at the potential of a nuclear reactor. Yeah, I uh, remember reading about that. I, I mean, what, where are you on this at the moment? Uh, I, you haven't made any formal announcements at the moment on exactly what you'll do and when. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's that's under review, mm -hmm. and uh, it's certainly uh, we have our cabinet is uh, is engaged in in dialogue and discussion. There are some external stakeholders are that are certainly expressing an interest, mm -hmm. and what we've said is. Regarding the nuclear cycle, Saskatchewan needs to consider its place in some key elements, again, research and development, uh, the refinement point, the enrichment piece, as well as the generation piece. So we're certainly uh, we're engaged in some early discussions. Who are those uh, outside stakeholders you might get involved? Well, what we're seeing is uh, interest mostly within the North American context right now. Mm -hmm. These are, these are companies you're talking about, nuclear that's, technology companies. That's right, mm -hmm. yes. Westinghouse, for example, people like that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, at this stage, uh, the, the conversations are pretty quiet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where's it going to be? Have you decided on a location if you build this plant? No, we haven't, and, mm -hmm. and that's part of these early discussions, and it's just a matter of uh, ensuring that uh, we're rein reinforcing that what we're looking for is the opportunity to ensure that uh, we're maintaining environmental standards to ensure that the people of Saskatchewan are obviously guaranteed of their safety and security, mm -hmm. and 
and at the same time looking to play a much greater role in that nuclear cycle. Okay, it sounds like what you also want as well as people then is capital investment, is that correct? Is that what you've been talking about while you're here as well? That's exactly right. Uh, certainly the investment portfolio of Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan has one of the, the broadest energy portfolios of, of any Canadian province and uh, Saskatchewan traditionally has been of a bit of a quiet sibling in Confederation. Mm -hmm. Under the leadership of Premier Brad Wall, we were just elected our new government on November 7th. And what we see is we want to play a much greater leadership role within Western Canada, right uh -huh. across the country and around the world. Right, I know you've been talking about uh, closer contacts with your uh, neighbouring provinces. Worth noting that, as you say, you've been in power less than seven months. It's the first time you've been in power. The party's only 11 years old. Your own majority in Saskatoon Greytown is just three percentage points. Yeah. Uh, and politics in Saskatchewan has been robust, to say the least, over the yeah. last decade or so. Why would anyone believe that your party is going to be the one to negotiate with, I mean, that you would stay in power much longer? Well, what we see actually is, is very solid support. Uh, we've just passed uh, new labour legislation, making sure that it's more fair, balanced and competitive. And uh, what we've seen is actually the support for those initiatives very strong in the polls. So what we see is very solid support. The, the majority is 38 to 19 right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, under the leadership of Brad Wall, we're focusing on this growth agenda. And the people of Saskatchewan, are, are they're pretty thankful. What we're seeing Saskatchewan playing a leadership role in population growth, uh, retail sales, wholesale exports, uh, and so the list goes on. So Saskatchewan is now playing a lead economic driving role within the Canadian context, and the people of Saskatchewan seem to be uh, giving us the thumbs up. They want to see more of that. Okay, well, good luck. We'll see you uh, at the next election. <laughs> How Great. many thumbs are up? Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Rob Norris, Saskatchewan's Minister of Labour and Immigration.